remove a tick from a dog. Along with fleas, ticks can make a dog's life very miserable. Ticks are actually small parasites which belong in the same category as spiders, arachnids. They latch themselves onto the skin of a mammal using a jagged, toothed stinger and suck blood for sustenance. They are most likely to be found in humid climates because their development is arrested when temperatures drop. Dogs are usually their unwilling hosts. Unless you know how to remove a tick from a dog, you could end up harming your pet instead of helping him. Aside from usurping the host's nutrients by stealing its blood, ticks are notorious for carrying potentially fatal diseases such as Lyme's disease, Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever, tick-borne meningoencephalitis, as well as a variety of hemorrhagic fever. And because humans are also mammals, tick-infested dogs can put your household at risk. In this video, we'll discuss two of the best proven ways to remove a tick from a dog. The same techniques can also be used on another person if needed. 1. It is important for you to remove a tick as soon as you find it on your dog. The possibility of infection increases the longer the tick is attached to your dog because it will continue to suck blood through its stinger. In this manner, a carrier tick can thus introduce infectious agents through the host's bloodstream. 2. When removing a tick, you need to get two things ready beforehand. 1. You need a covered container to put the tick in after removal. A small screw-top jar with a little bit of alcohol is best for this purpose. Note that you should keep any ticks that you remove, just so that if any suspicious symptoms arise, you could easily have the tick tested to facilitate a diagnosis. Second, you will need a pair of disposable latex gloves so that you don't come in contact with the tick. The infective agents carried by a tick can find their way into your system by using breaks in the skin and mucous membranes as a point of entry. 3. You will also need a tick removal tool or a pair of fine tip tweezers. If you live in a rural area where ticks are a frequent reality, invest in a tick remover. These are relatively inexpensive and if you shop around you can usually score a good deal online. 4. Have someone help you keep the dog still. Put on the gloves. 5. Before trying to manually pull the tick out, see if you can persuade it to crawl out first. Isolate the tick by sweeping aside the dog's fur. Using your finger, rub the body of the tick in a continuous circular motion for about one minute, just as if you were trying to make it dizzy. The rubbing motion should be rather fast, and you should be able to feel the engorged body of the tick being moved around in circles. 6. If the tick falls off or detaches, grab it quickly and put it in the screw top jar you prepared for this purpose. 7. Should this method not work, you will have to pull the tick off using the tweezers. Gently grasp the tick in the prongs without squeezing and pull up straight using a steady motion rather than an abrupt pull. You want to remove the tick as completely as possible and jerking at the tick's body could cause the stinger to be left embedded beneath the dog's skin where it can cause further damage. 8. Disinfect your dog's skin with antiseptic and any other tools or surfaces which touch the tick. Discard the disposable gloves in the trash and wash your hands. We have shared two techniques which show how to remove a tick from a dog. After the tick removal, be sure to observe your dog for any symptoms which could indicate an infection, such as fever, dehydration, loss of appetite, irritability, restlessness, body pain, or any uncharacteristic behavior. If these appear, take your dog to the vet right away and take along the tick that you have removed. 